everyone, my name is Shannon Crossin and welcome back to another YouTube video. So today I am on my hard mode island called Lilioke and today we are going to be doing the first ever build on my hard mode island. So if you didn't know about hard mode, it is a challenge created by an intent talk and basically it's kind of like just playing the game but with some extra rules. So today I am going to be doing some building and some terraforming. I'm going to be making a little towny area. There you go. And these are going to be the roofs. I kind of, kind of practiced how to do this in a live stream uh, not so long ago. So I kind of planned it all out before and then I shot the video. Okay. Uh, I don't know why I was doing that. There you go. Terraforming doesn't half take a long time though. But what is everyone's theme for um, hard mode? Mine is a uh, cottage core, which is, is is my first time doing cottage core, so it's going to be very like brown tones. But I'm not really bothered about my villagers. Like I want them to be cuties and ones I like, but I'm not really bothered about the color because we've only got ten tickets for all of the ones. So I'd much rather take someone that I prefer. So here I am doing the simple panels. This has made me very appreciative of custom codes and stuff, custom designers, because it's very hard. I mean, I did these. I mean, it was hard to make the door, because obviously it doubles. So I was very confused on how to do the door, so I just did it so it looked like there was multiple windows, kind of like you'd see in like a patio or something. So there you go. So this is like the little like city, back city area. Because I wanted to do a kind of city but also have it sit like um, cottage core as well because I've never done any kind of city. So I made all the designs on my own. I did use quite a few um, guides on how to make it. I think I used... Um, just a, like, I went on to Pinterest and just saw how people make them. It was very interesting. And it was very hard have, have being able to, like, line them up as well. Next to um, the city, I'm going to be putting a cave. So it's kind of like they'll be going through a tunnel. And then there's going to be loads of wheat fields around, but I'll put more of them at, like you know, when I get some more, because I don't have many wheat fields on me at the moment. And on the other side of the um, city, I'm going to be making a public library, which will be very cute. I've already designed the walls, like the uh, library walls. I was going to use bookcases, but that would have taken way too long. So I might just put some bookcases in um, my house instead. I only made two, but it takes way too many books, especially if you're doing hard mode, it takes forever. I was going to make that into a car park, but I thought it would take ages to get cars, so I just decided to get some bikes. This was really hard to do because I kept on misclicking. I got some little bikes and decided to uh, just use that instead of cars because I mean it's cottage cool so they're probably eco-friendly so they don't want to keep on using um, you know, cars and stuff I am gonna do so oh, I am gonna do some of the um, waterscaping off camera because I mean it really frustrates me when I can't do it right <laughs> So here I am placing the windmill, and then here I am placing all of the wheat fields. 
So whilst I um, do this, I'm just going to do a little update about my channel. So if you've noticed on my channel, I have been uploading different games other than just Animal Crossing, which is because I really like other games and also I feel like if I do Animal Crossing games all the time, I'm going to get very burnt out and not want to play Animal Crossing. It kind of seems like I'm doing it all the time. So instead I'm just going to add some like sims and I mean I'm doing a legacy challenge at the moment, Lucid Legacy and I'm doing some Minecraft and some Stardew Valley so kind of like quite cosy games, I don't know whether you could class Minecraft as a cosy game, it can be. <laughs> Yeah, if you've been seeing on my channel, it's like changing over to more of a variety channel. My channel is going to be mainly Animal Crossing, but I am going to be putting a teeny bit of different games in it as well, just in case there's ever a time where I just feel like I can't do any Animal Crossing content because I've just burnt out, so then I can still give you channeling some content. And not like content that you're not used to as well, which is why I'm starting now. But yeah, I'm really enjoying doing different games like Minecraft. Um, when I get a job, I'm going to uh, download um, or buy Coral Island. And I was watching um, one of... Um, videos of Coral Island, the 100 day one, and I really want to play that, it kind of reminds me of Stardew Valley, and also I want to down, um, play Dinkum as well, that just seems like a very good game, which I would love to play. Also I think you can play it co-op, co so I could basically play it with other players as well, which gives it a lot more, you know, different stuff and I could collaborate with people on it. I do really love Animal Crossing, there's just sometimes there's not the collaboration feature on it as much. I mean we can collaborate on here but it just ends up being the same thing, it's like design battles and you know, I mean there's stuff like Sabotage League and stuff but yeah I, I don't think I can compete with those people on there at the moment. <laughs> advanced <laughs> but yeah one thing I am thinking of doing and I think I've mentioned this in a past video but like an Animal Crossing trivia kind of like um like a kind of like a little like you know a television game like Pointless or The Chase or Family Feud but have it like Animal Crossing related but yeah if anyone else wants to do that then that's completely fine I just wanted to put the idea out there because I've had it for a while, I just haven't really had the time to do it. But yeah. And I'm going to put a utility pole on here. It kind of is not too city core. I still wanted it to be a bit brown. I don't know whether I can change the colour of the utility pole, but I think that's not too bad. Having a bit of grey in it. And... I don't have any more wheat fields, so I'm going to have to get some more of those. But anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed my first ever hard mode speed build. And I shall see you in the next video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye, channelings. Bye.